watch the full video, and read the description and pinned comment before following this tutorial. This tutorial is for both the PC and Shack versions of Pavlov. I'm using the most recent mod kit as of the 1st of May 2024. Windows 10 or 11, no other operating systems will work. The Epic Games Launcher with Unreal Engine 5.1.1. A minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Any lower and you likely won't be able to upload to mod.io. If you're making a map for PC, you'll need Steam with Pavlov installed. You do not need Pavlov on PC if you're just making a map for Shack. Internet connection might also be required. In the Epic Games Launcher, go to Unreal Engine and Library. Click on the plus symbol and select 5.1.1. If you don't see 5.1.1, Download 5.1 and you'll get an option to update it once installed. Before downloading, click on the drop down box from 5.1.1 and click Options. Make sure the following are selected Starter Content, Engine Source, and Linux. If you plan on uploading content for Pavlov Shack, you must also select Android. Go to the GitHub link in the pinned comment and download the zip. The link can also be found on the Pavlov Discord, which will also be linked in the pinned comment. You will also need to create a mod.io account. You can log in with Steam or create a brand new one unlinked to anything. Once you have done all that, you will need to extract the mod kit into a location of your choosing. After extracting, open the Pavlov U project. This is how you open the Pavlov mod kit. If Unreal Engine is crashing when you try to load it, open your U project file in Notepad and set the following code to false. Click on the Windows tab at the top right of the editor and make sure Pavlov Workshop is ticked. I'm using a UE4 layout in my project. You can switch to that by clicking on Window in the top right, going down to Load Layout, then clicking on UE4 Classic Layout. This is not required, but may help with following this guide. Go to the Pavlov Workshop tab, then click Account, and log into your mod.io account. Once you are logged in, go to Create Mod. In Pavlov, you can create maps, content mods, and game modes all separately. In this video, I will just be showing how to create a basic map. Enter your map's name and description. These can be edited later, so you can make them anything you want. Select Map, then clicking Create Mod will create your map's UGC. Return to the main tab, and your newly created UGC will already be open. It should also be mentioned, that you can have as many UGCs within the same Pavlov project as you like. Go to File, New Level, and select Basic, then Create. Select Exponential Height Fog and Volumetric Cloud, and Delete. Select Floor and Sky Sphere, and set these to Static. Manually set Skylight Sky Atmosphere, and Directional Light to Static. Pavlov only supports static lighting, so all lights must be set to static. You can technically set your skylight to movable, however it's still better for performance to keep it static. If you're making a map for PC, you can probably get away with it being movable. Click Save All, then decide your map's location and name. It must be saved somewhere inside the UGC. Go to the Place Actors tab, and add a Sphere Reflection Capture. Make it encompass your whole playable area. Make sure to build all reflections before uploading, or all your items and weapons will be dark and non-reflective. 
Build. Build reflection captures. Building reflections can take significantly longer than building lighting. Since we can only use static lights, all lighting will need to be built manually. Go to Build. Build lighting only. Make sure the quality is set to Preview to keep build times down. In Place Actors, search for Pavlov Game Logic and drag this into your level. Set your definition in Definition. Set Player Info class to Pavlov underscore Player Info and Player Proxy class to Pavlov underscore Player Proxy. Search for Spawn and drag Pavlov Spawn into your level. Set the team ID to 0 for blue team, 1 for red team, and minus 1 for both teams. You can tick special if this spawn is meant for S&D. A Pavlov mod's thumbnail must be 512 by 288 pixels. You can create this however you want. Your definition must stay in its default location. Moving it will likely cause your map to fail uploading. Open up your definition and set the label to the name you want your map to have in game. Set thumbnail to your thumbnail. This is not required, so you can do this whenever. Set map to the map you intend to upload to PC. If you want to upload a map to Shack, then set your map where it says Shack Map. If you want to upload to both PC and Shack, you can have a separate map for both or use the same between them. Set the compatibility tags for what game modes you want your map to support. Make sure Hidden is not ticked. Only tick Custom Game Mode if your map is using a custom game mode. Click Save All to assure everything has been saved. Doing Control S only saves the level, not everything in your UGC. Go to the Workshop tab, go to Upload Mod, and select your UGC from the list. If you're uploading for PC, tick Windows. If you're uploading for Shack, tick Android. You can tick both if you'd like to upload both at the same time. Share Mod Assets allows you to upload your UGC's project files. This option is only available for mods and not maps. This is not required and should only be selected if you are fine with your assets being shared publicly. You can view other people's mod assets in the Download Source Plugins tab. When you are ready to upload, click Upload Mod. A console will appear and give some output for a few minutes. When it disappears, you will get an upload bar. Your first time uploading will always take longer than normal. Uploading should take no more than 40 to 60 minutes, though it entirely depends on your internet connection and how large your project is. If the console keeps repeating the same string of text over and over, then you can cancel and forget uploading, as you likely don't have enough RAM to upload. Go to mod.io, then click on My Teams. Click on Manage on your newly created map. Here you can edit how your mod appears on mod.io. The summary and name are the only two parts which affect how it appears in the in-game mod browser. The rest is just for mod.io. You will need to set your thumbnail on mod.io separately to the one in UE5. To make your map accessible in-game, you will need to click Go Live, which will make your map public. Unfortunately, there is no way to load a map without it being public. So if you don't want an unfinished project being public, I'd suggest making it public temporarily each time you want to test it and then making it hidden again immediately afterwards. 
Your summary must be at least 10 characters or you won't be able to save it. Download your map in the in-game mod browser and load it in a lobby. I suggest testing your map on Team Deathmatch. If you found this video helpful, a like and subscription would be appreciated.